Hey, it's week two, my trainees. How are you feeling today? Did you have a good rest yesterday? Hopefully you're feeling good. We're gonna be smashing out a big leg session today and we're going to focus on squats. Now squats are very important as a primal movement and to be honest, there's a lot of discussion about form. So I'm gonna give you a few cues here right now to make sure that you are hitting them as best as possible. First off, if you are struggling with your form, make sure that you have your knees pointing in the same direction as your toes. I know that sounds a bit weird, but for those who have knock knee or bow knee, it's actually quite important to make sure that our knees are aligning with our toes because then it will make sure that it's not exacerbating any postural issues like them. Keep your chest puffed up slightly and I try to keep my eyes fixed on a fixed place uh, so that it means that I'll keep my neck up and when I'm moving down I'm not going to drop my eyes and I'm not going to push my back forward either. That will help with your balance. Now make sure that you are hinging at the hip and the knee at the same time and when you're dropping your hip Make it so it drops just slightly below your knees. So it's almost like this, right? It's not like that, it's almost like this. Now that is actually gonna help you make sure that you are getting the most out of this movement, really activate the glutes. Now if you are struggling with the squat form for some reason, maybe it's the getting up, possibly, you could always work in a regression that's absolutely fine and it will build up that proper movement. A very easy one to do is to just sit down into a chair and then stand back up because that uses that same squat movement. Either that or if you've got a broom or a stick, use that as a way of propping yourself back up, using it for balance, okay? Now, if that makes sense, let's get on into our workouts today, guys. Make sure you're warmed up, have water ready, let's go. My level ones, today's gonna be tough, but it will work those amazing leg muscles with your squats. Start with the good old knee lift to get the hip flexors and quads ready to work, and then go straight into hip lift. The focus on the glutes will get them active as well. If you're struggling with the ring con between your legs, just put it to the side once you've done that initial setup rep, as the movement is based off of the thigh strap movement only. Next, pump out 10 good quality squat reps using the cues from earlier. We'll begin to shake things out with beginner, and then we'll use ring raise combo. The mini squat motion is gonna be tough after those first set of squats, but do your best with the rhythm as well. Repeat the hip lift to focus on your glutes again before taking on wide squats. Now this is similar to your standard squat, except we are placing our legs a bit further apart. It gets a real focus on your adductors, on the inner thigh, and your glutes as well. Keep your upper body upright again to make sure you're getting the best form possible. Next we're going to use chair pose, which has a static half squat. It may burn, but there's not a lot of reps here, so it's more of a finishing move for this scenario. Finish the set with a game of squat goals. These squats are variable in size, and it lets your body guess, and you finish out with a bit of variety as well, which is really fun. My level twos, you're going to alternate between squats and complementary exercises in pairs this week. So feel free to rest up to 60 seconds between each exercise in order to make sure that you are able to perform all reps as best as possible. We start with a jog through Disturbance Meadow before dropping for the first set of squats. Remember to have your knees pointing over your toes and to drop your hips properly as well. Next, go for a round of hip lift, remembering to keep the body as in line as possible at the top of the rep. We then play a round of squat goals. You choose the difficulty, but if you go advanced, it's gonna get very intense very quick. Knee lift provides some aerobic respite as well to shake off some lactic acid before we perform a wide squat. Now this is tough with the adductors and hips coming under fire, but remember to keep your chest upright and you'll have some excellent reps here. Ring raise combo is next with its light rhythmic movement, providing some blood flow and rest from the anaerobic squat movements. We'll go for a few reps of chair pose, keeping it between six to 10 reps so that your body doesn't falter too much. And now that you're near the end, get moving with the Riverside rhythm game with its squats coming in a few times and finish with another round of squat goals. The intention with this game is to beat your score from the earlier round. It's gonna be intense, so make sure if you want to do more, just avoid other leg movements in this day, okay? Level three trainees, this leg session is going to be tough, but I'll stress this right at the start. The squat reps are set to 10 intentionally, as over the entire playlist, there is going to be a high volume of the squat movement. If you want to go higher, set each squat up one level, but the reps will really start to add up. So just make sure that you are prepared for this and rest if you need to. I'd say rest up to two minutes after each squat set. Start with the side step movement to get a bit of movement going with your body and then do a round of standard squats. Stick your bum out and get those hips lower than your knees for a real blast on the glutes. Shake off with beginner and then perform set one of the wide squat. Make sure your legs are out wider but keep those knees and toes aligned. Next, come in with the knee lift. This should help shake some lactic acid from your legs. 
Then we're performing our first round of overhead squat. Keep your ring up as best as possible, bracing your core, keep your chest puffed. This is one of those exercises where keeping your eyes fixed on that one place is really going to help keep your form proper. Now for the killer four. We've got squat goals mini game, which brings some variety, some half squats before round two of the wide squat. The squattery wheel mini game gives opportunity for half squats straight after, and the small movements are really gonna burn your quads before you do that final round of the overhead squat. This is honestly one of the toughest sets I've written in a long time, but if you complete it, well done. If you do want to do more after this, do a few cardio levels to get the blood pumping those nutrients and oxygen to those poor, poor leg muscles you've got. That's the workout for today. Well done for completing it. And let's look at today's fit fact. This week, we're going to actually do a themed week about nutrition and a few fun facts some little things that you should know. We're gonna start with what a caloric surplus and a caloric deficit are, because I've mentioned them before. So each person has a certain amount of calories that they need each day to maintain their body weight and maintain their energy. That's generally known as your basal metabolic rate, okay? Once you find that amount, you can actually calculate how many calories you would need to put on weight and how many calories you would need to lose weight using that. Now, if you've got a caloric base of like 2000 calories, which is, you know, the, the recommended daily energy amount that they, they do on, on food and, you know, by the governments and stuff. If you do that and you take a 10 to 20% mark, so let's say that would be 200 calories to so 10%, you would add that onto that onto that base rate or remove that from that base rate in order to get your caloric surplus or caloric deficit. Now, this is the amount that you would need to lose weight or gain weight at a healthy amount. Now, if you're adding those calories in, that's a calorie surplus. If you're removing those calories, that's a calorie deficit. You never really want to go too much further than the 10 to 20%, uh, obviously depending on what your goal is and such. And when it comes to the calorie surplus, it really gets down to how good your nutrition is, especially your proteins, your macros, everything you need to be in balance in order to gain weight healthily, okay? So yeah, that's the short on calorie deficits and calorie surpluses. So pretty fun, hey. Um, now you may want to make sure that you've got a good protein meal in after this session because your legs will be in pieces. They are gonna get a lot more powerful. They are gonna get really strong with work like this, with this high volume. So good on you for completing that. Very proud of you. I did the level three workout and my legs still hurt now. Now make sure that you have stretched out well and that you've hydrated well as well. Rest up. We've got another big arm day tomorrow. I'm really proud of you for making it to week two. So well done. And yeah, sweet, fantastic. Thanks very much. If you've got any feedback, any comments, let me know how you're doing in the comments. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow.